We will continue our discussion about format and presentation as uh, you know one of the key constituents of uh, language curriculum design. Okay, so when we talk about format and presentation, we talk about you know some key elements. For example, four strands. We talk about motivation. We talk about you know individual learning styles. So there are different principles of format and presentation, right? Now we're gonna see the element of blocks and threads, okay, and their significance for formatting a lesson or formatting uh, a course book or a, met a, a specific material for language teaching. Uh, we'll see uh, what means by blocks and what means by threads, and what are their salient characteristics and how we can format our lessons uh, by ensuring that they have they contain some blocks they contain some threads or sub threads right let's begin with the discussion on uh, you know block well a block you know there are uh, different ways uh, of planning a lesson and one of the ways is to divide it into blocks and threads block uh, uh, is uh, could be described as a you know a set format i mean which has already been predetermined and which is there and which 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 is uh, you know complete in itself i mean which contains uh, a spirit of completion right and on the other hand, uh, you know, threads could be described some activities and uh, uh, which, you know, run through throughout a course or throughout a lesson. Or in other words, activities uh, sort of, uh, they uh, could be described as a fabric and which is uh, woven together and, I mean, which bleeds throughout uh, the course or a lesson, right? And uh, you know, blocks and threads, uh, well, as, as we have seen, like the block is uh, an independent unit, right? On the other hand, threads, they could be a part of a block, right? And, you know, why, uh, what's the rationale behind uh, adopting blocks and threads uh, approach? to design a lesson or a course book, okay? Well, blocks and threads approach help us, you know, economize our time, and uh, they help us, you know, determine certain criteria how each lesson uh, will take place or progress in the classroom. So, blocks approach to lesson planning is, is could be described as vertical approach, right? And uh, as I said before, like they have their uh, practical significance for language teaching and uh, for the development of materials and writing textbooks, right? So as like I said before, like uh, blocks and threads help us save our time and save, uh, you know, the time of uh, the teachers themselves, and they help us in, uh, you know, in planning and organizing the lesson in an efficient way. And from my own personal uh, point of view, uh, as a language teacher, before walking into the classroom, I ensure that the lesson is uh, organized and planned in an uh, appropriate manner. And I let my learners know about the blocks and threads of the topic. For example, if uh, we, uh, if I'm going to talk about, you know, if I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, giving tasks to my learners and uh, inviting them to talk about their morning routine. So here, the topic, the morning routine will be a block, right? So there could be some threads of, uh, you know, following this block. Uh, for example, the threads, could be, you know, asking my students to bring in some reading exercises dealing with, uh, you know, morning routine or listening to each other or uh, listening uh, 
um, uh, listening to each other and, you know, asking them to write something, right? So these activities uh, or these, uh, you know, sections are, uh, are the threads, right? So there could be, uh, as I said before, like there could be sub-threads as well, right? So overall, in, in brief, blocks and threads are uh, one of the important elements of format and presentation. So while deciding uh, about format and presentation, uh, we as uh, language teachers and uh, curriculum designers, we need to ensure that a lesson, a particular unit or a textbook or a material contains some blocks and threads so that it's easy for the learners to know what they are doing. And uh, if the learners know what they are doing, uh, language learning could become a fruitful activity.